This will get an argument from a lot of people. They believe a child's personality is ingrained. It cannot be changed. But a first-of-its-kind study out of our very own Michigan State University has found that preschoolers who play together can directly influence each other's personality traits. So, Dr. Nandy, good to have you with us on this Monday. What type of traits are we talking about that yeah, are almost contagious, so to speak? Anything that's in Michigan State has got to be good, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, the father of two uh, preschoolers, I found this study intriguing. MSU Psychology Department studied three- and four-year-olds attending preschool classes for one full school year. They found children whose friends were hardworking and extroverted took on these traits gradually over time. So that's great. What about the other side if they're yeah. hanging around with kids who are like really anxious and like, you know, worry about everything? That's an important question. So luckily it does not work the other way. So researchers found that preschoolers whose friends were over anxious and easily frustrated did not take on these traits. That's hmm. good because Every parent wants, uh, that, that I know that wants to raise confident, successful children, and, and I'm, I'm no exception. Absolutely, none of us are, right? All right, yeah. what are your prescriptions now? Yeah, so with that in mind, play with your kids, please. D not only do they learn, but it shows that, that they're worthy of your time. It makes them feel valued. Also, give your child responsibility starting at age two. Ooh. It should be uh, tasks that are age appropriate and don't hover over them. This will help them develop self-confidence. Also, teach self-encouragement. Have them repeat mantras like, if you don't succeed, try, try again. This positive inner voice will help encourage and motivate them. And lastly, offer them praise, but don't hand out mindless compliments. See, over praising them can do more harm than good. Kids develop confidence because of not what they've achieved, uh, and not because only because parents are constantly telling them what, that they're great, but rather if they actually achieve something yeah. significant. Point. Um, my dad always used to tell me that a person is judged by the, 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 the friends he keeps around mm -hmm. him. So do we as parents need to more closely look at our kids then, their friends? And adults too. See, I've got good friends right here. It makes <laughs> me look good. So you should definitely keep a watchful eye on how your child feels and acts. After playing with friends, you want to make sure that playmates are building your child up, not knocking them down. If your child's group of friends doesn't seem like the right fit, then you want to intervene. You can set up play dates to encourage other friendships with more suitable peers. So if, you know, we get together and I, I, I try to bring you down, then you got to get out. rid of me. Yeah. Now, exactly. how do you it, now, how do you explain it to your kids? This is the tough part. If, you, if you've identified that one of their friends is like a negative influence, how do you convince your kids that they're a negative influence without getting them mad at you? It's well, well I, I have to do that. I sit down and say, you know what, this is what I'd like for you to, to, to grow up to become, and this is the things I want you to do. And it seems like when you're hanging around with, you know, some, you know, Ron or, or Bill or whatever, that this is not happening. So it, it, it takes more than one conversation, but you, you have to be really honest with them and say, this is where I want you to be, this is where you are, and this is what it's going to take. And this child seems to be having a negative influence on you. And Don't then, just like forbid them because that's... I don't think so. I think you do it gradually. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Nandy, thank you. Hey, my pleasure.